What's up then next? We're going to crack on to uh, wine two, which um, may have been picked by me. Oh, okay. So we're going to go for the Fiano, and we're the uh, ah, one of your favourites. 2020 Fiano. Ladies first. Thank you very much, sir. You might notice that we're not really a tasting show. No. We're a little bit more of a... Yeah, we, we yeah, overpour with the tasting. Yeah, well, it's yeah. just a bit of a drinking... Not drinking as in we still drink responsibly, but the whole idea is to get an actual good... Get an actual good taste. Good yeah. taste, yeah. yeah. So I'm this amazing. Colour's beautiful. Have everything goes upside down for a glass. Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it Especially when you're out in the vineyard. Oh, yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Good. You can get the real colours on it. And that's, and that's where you should... This is where you should be trying white wines. Out in, it's out, out in nature, so you the, can get the pure colour, exactly. And when the light yeah. shines through, the whole thing just blossoms. Just it is. Mm. All right, so, so this is Fiano. Yeah. Okay. So Fiano, mm -hmm. for the punters that don't know, mm -hmm. Italian. Southern Italian. Yeah. yeah. Southern Italian. Yeah. Southern Italian. Yeah. Very, match extremely well to our climate. Matches very well. So it's uh, the Southern Italian climate. Of course, it's reasonably warm. Okay. And, and this, is, this can be warm as well. But um, it's it's a variety which maintains its acidity. Yeah. Um, but it's got some lovely roundness and richness to it. Mm. And, um, just, it's it's just that, even in the smell, it sort mm. of catches. It's got so what colour? What are you thinking, it. Jade? Colour wise. Colour wise. Well, oh, it's a little bit of a creamy yellow, isn't it? It's just that little bit. A creamy colour, you reckon? Yeah. It's that softy it's yellow. More golden, isn't softy it? Softy golden. That's golden. it. Yeah, it's that softy yellow sort of. With a good sort of spoon of green in there as well. Yeah, yeah. Now the green's there for sure. Which you need to have in a young wine. Yes. Is it smelling? It smells nice. I like the catch. It smells nice? Mm. It smells nice like what? It smells like it makes my mouth water and I don't really want to smells like I want to drink it. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. What should we be smelling? I think what you're smelling is just, just right. It's, um, it's got some creaminess to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's got mm -hmm. some depth and lovely sort of vibrancy in the nose. Ready for it's first. really fresh. It just, it just lends itself to food, doesn't it? It's just a... A mouth-watering wine that just think, mm, a little bit of bread on this, a little bit of, mm. a little bit of something on the side. And, you know, oh, I can mm. understand why you're biased. That's mm. beautiful, yeah, isn't it? Put that one over there. I reckon. <laughs> Pocket that one for me. No, one. that that is. That is beautiful. That is okay, so yeah. very very easy to drink. Mm. I think one of the you know, things that you know, if you talk about history, is that mm -hmm. one of the unfortunate things is that um, is probably don't people don't recognise just how good an area McLaren Valley is for making white wines. Now, there's a, there's been some terrific wines made from made in, 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 you know, from other varieties apart from this. You know, yeah. Riesling is often associated with being a sort of cooler climate variety, well, but the Clare Valley, obviously. But this, yeah. it's very, very famous for it. But yeah. it's excellent Riesling grown here too. But now, unfortunately, a lot of those vines are gone now because the people haven't really sort of you know people think, oh well, maybe maybe you can't grow those varieties here, and it's a shame because. Um, the region can produce some lovely, lovely white yeah, wines, nice. but yeah. uh, but but lending itself to this, you know, it, it is a variety which is suitable to to a slightly like warmer climate. It's it popping is. up everywhere yeah. too, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. And, and so it's more readily available now. Yeah, with the Mediterranean climate and things like that. Yeah. 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 And of course, d d don't forget we have the coast near here, so it's not, yeah. it's not as though it's... Oh, we've got some maritime influence. That's right, we? so it's yeah. nice, and, nice and cool at night time to, to try and cool it down. And it's, they're the type of things you need to try and grow really good quality white wines and, 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 and red wines. Yeah. Right, so... It's beautiful. You... So what flavour are we getting? It's just... Well, there's a bit of peach there, I think. It is. It is. Peach is some of the uh, ripe, that fruity, ripe, ripe and it doesn't peach have that really pretty dry aftertaste, mm. so it's sort of quite smooth, quite creamy. Yeah. But then, but then, then quite nice, nice, good, clean acidity finish. So it finishes nice and refreshing. And yes, it's the essence of any wine is that you can look forward to a second glass of anything you try. That it's um, oh, it's a nice Ma taste. Ma Mark told you to glass. say that. Didn't <laughs> <they>? <laughs> Mark, like, I can see them marketing all nodding their head. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, pairing it food wise, mm. let's. What, what, what do you reckon? Well, I. Mm. What would Paul pair it with? Oh, we're at we're at Paul's house. Oh look, I'm the, I'm, I'm the we're sitting on the balcony. Where, uh, well, what we're going we, to have a lovely food platter coming out now. But what I would like to have it with is um, a lovely bit of sashimi. I love sashimi. I could eat that all day. Right. Lovely yeah. okay. and fresh and sort of vibrant, yeah. and, and it's got it's got the creaminess to go with go with that as well. Yeah. But um, Mark's coming here with some lovely food. There might be something on here. There we go. Guys. Well, what have we got here? Ah, so wow. one of our mixed platters. So quite a little collection we have on here. So. Mixture basically cheese, meats, bit of pate and some fruit. Um, so what we have on here, we've got Andy Clapper's bread from up the top of Wollonga Hill, which is a bit of a favourite amongst from all of From uh, our place? Our place, yeah. absolutely. He's fantastic. We love the bread if it gets into the, be stored. 
Um, cheeses, we've got a BD Paris Creek, sorry, Paris Creek Farms, uh, mm. Triple Cream Brie, yeah. Ash Grove Cheddar, and the Adele Blue, which I'm a big blue fan, which is fantastic. Um, we have Little Acre Foods Chicken Pate, which is a oh. gorgeous pate. Uh, from a couple of the local butchers, we have a Metwurst from McLaren Vale Country Meats, and the ham as well, their award-winning ham, which is fantastic. And then we've got Chorizo from Ellis Butchers as well to top that. Um, we have a little bit of Moroccan jam, which is hiding over here, um, which is great on the meats and the cheeses. I'm really partial to it. Uh, we've got some lovely dukkah from uh, Pip Forrester, who makes one of the local food legends. From she Bar. is the McLaren Vale. Oh, legend. she is an absolute legend. It's fantastic. And then we have local McLaren Vale olive oil, a little dash of balsamic vinegar in there just to top that off, and a few little almonds from McLaren Vale, and a little bit of pan forward. So, really, this platter here. No matter what wine you're drinking, what wine you're tasting, grab this platter. It looks like that you'd be enough for three or four, but yeah. I think a couple. Depends how hungry one is. Well, that's true. <laughs> Very true. But that, that looks absolutely sensational. And I'm going to ask the product usually, but I'm going to ask the price question. Uh, this one's at uh, 55 for a 55. flat. 55. 55. So it's a nice feed. For that's that. a good. That's really well done. Mm. Good quality local produce for a great yeah. price. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. And right. as local as we can get it. Yeah. <laughs> so I right. think that. Yeah. And it's enough for four people, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, two to four. Two as to I always say, it depends how hungry everyone is. Yeah. Some some get a bit hungrier than others. Yeah. I must admit, I pretty much polished one off on myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only because it was so good. <laughs> you can just yeah. take it home and eat it yourself. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fantastic. So let's. Ask, what would you pair the Fiano with? Ooh. Me, I would probably go the Triple Cream Brie um, and a little bit of the fruit as well. I like it with that. So, mm. okay. you know, as Paul was saying, that yeah. freshness that fresh that that and that creaminess yeah. you would know, I reckon it's a great match with a brie. Yeah. That's a personal preference. No, we'll, we'll, we'll go right? there. Paul, we'll we'll trust the taste. We don't have to <laughs> share yeah, today. Great. No, we don't. We don't. No. But um, uh, I think that um, there's enough... Um, Enough acidity in this wine that really cut through the, the pate. So the pate, I think a bit, I of, a bit, of, a bit of bread, a bit I of pate, it would, mm. it would just clean up that very, very nicely. So I think that's mm. what I would try with. And well, maybe just a bit of the, just some, something really basic, a bit of bread, a bit of dukkah, and a bit of balsamic mm. and oil. That's, that's um, you can eat it all day. Couldn't beautiful. You? Right. <laughs> well, we <laughs> probably could if we had a plate, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> so, shall we try first the cheese and, and the fiat? Yeah. Are we good? Oh, no, no, no. So, mm -hmm. we can't all eat at the same time, so you guys go for it. And I'll, um, I'll give the triple cream brie a go first. You have, you have a go. That goes well. That goes well, yeah. Mm. Matched the creaminess of the yep. cheese. Yeah. yeah. Did it make the wine creamy or did it take the creaminess away? No, I think it's the, it's the um, to me what you're looking for is that lovely burst of flavour from the creaminess and then mm -hmm. that, um, the roundness of the wine, but then that little burst of acidity at the end just to, just to clean the palate. So it's somewhere much refreshing. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it cuts through the creamy, mm. creaminess and gives you that really nice aftertaste. Yeah. Mm, it's beautiful. Mm. Oh, I'm very happy with that pairing. I'm mm. not. Oh, no. not satisfied. No. What's your choice? Oh, just the, the cheese was too much, couldn't taste the wine after all. Really? Yeah. Mm. And it was too creamy and yeah. sort of dull. That's because I'm, I'm hanging itself, out for the pate. No, that's anything, it, he's aiming for the pate. I'm going to go first this time. Go for gold. Oh, that pate is so good, you don't even... Mm. I'd never say it before, but you don't, almost don't even need wine with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks so nice, doesn't it? Just... Oh, much better. Okay, much you're a pate better. fan with it? Yeah. Okay. Mm. A little taste of this, we'll do a little taste of the pate. Mm. Yeah, that's. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I reckon that enhances the flavour of the wine where I mm. couldn't really taste it with the cheese. Mm. Okay, yeah, different flavour all together. Yeah. yeah, it brings out completely different flavours in the wine. Mm. Mm. Even though we're novices. Mm. Sparkling red and triple green. Yes. Perfect pairing. Mm. Nice blend of a bit of that, yeah, that yeah, red sparkling from, and that carbonated. Um, yeah. Well, it's not. We got told it, but we did the sparkling. We did the sparkling red tour. Oh, went yes. around on e-bikes to all the places, and we Ooh, picked six or seven. One. Yeah, yeah, it was Ooh, quite yeah. difficult, and uh, tasted all. And then we picked our favourites, and we matched them with food. Oh, yeah, it, it was awesome. And the triple brie 
killed it with Stunning. the sparkling red. So yeah. cheese too powerful yeah. for, for me. Find Other people might choose, choose different, but yep. the pate, superb. Mm. And mm. I'm, I'm going to go as far as to say you don't even need food with this one. No, it's nice enough on no, its own. It's got nice enough, enough flavour yeah. through it that I think it's nice enough on its own. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I'm a bit disappointed because sashimi would have went perfectly with it, wouldn't it?